Aloha friends. Thank you for tuning in. Today I want to talk to you about a neat way to help save our planet, our Mother Earth, and um, also get water in your garden. I'm here in the outdoor shower right now. As you can see, water's coming down. It lands right into the water table, right into the ground and soaks in. I'm just going to turn this off. And I want to talk to you about how we create our shampoo and body wash and even laundry detergent. And we do it using Dr. Bronner's soaps. And I'm not selling these because I'm not like affiliated with them or anything. It's just that I use them and I wanted to show you how great they are for, um, for use in an outdoor shower like ours. And we live in the Southwest where it's very hot and dry. And we need to save and conserve all the water we can. So I started using the laundry gray water out in the landscape. And I, we have been using this outdoor shower and we have an outdoor sink. So all of those are ways where we can wash and also reuse the water in the garden. So I, um, I just wanted to show you these things and tell you how they work. And there's different, different fragrances. Like this one is an almond. This one is a lavender. This one is a eucalyptus. And there are other ones. There's citrus and rose and unscented. There's all these different wonderful fragrances, but they're, they're fine in the garden. So what I usually have been doing for, just for the shampoo, all you need to do is fill up like a little soap dispenser of any sort um, with maybe a tablespoon of the Castile soap and then fill it all the way up with water. You could add some lemon juice in there if you like to, or I like to also add in vinegar, which is really great. It sounds kind of weird, but plain old vinegar. Let's see. This helps eliminate odors and it, it helps clean the laundry. It can help uh, make your scalp smell fresher too. So vinegar is a good thing to add. Um, so maybe like a tablespoon of the Castile soap and a couple tablespoons of vinegar and then the water and it still smells really good because the castile soap smells delicious i mean not delicious but it smells wonderful um, and then for our hair coloring so that's the shampoo just plain shampoo just the soap and water and some vinegar and then for the hair coloring i discovered that we could boil certain products from the garden in a big huge pot of just boiling water so I add in um, different things. This one is, this one's for blonde hair. So this one's really nice on my husband's hair. It turns his light colored hair a beautiful golden color, like a nice blonde. So we use this one a lot on him. So this one gives you a good blonde. And all it is is cutting up pieces of aloe vera blades. And in those aloe vera blades, you'll find uh, circulatory fluid that comes out of the, the blade when you first cut it open. It's sort of an orangish yellowish, and that is... is what really stains. So if you get that on your clothes or anything, it's going to stain. I've had it stain cutting boards even, and it's hard to get it, get rid of it. So it's a really good dye. So this is the aloe vera formula. So it's just um, like a gallon of water boiled with um, a few blades of aloe vera. And I just let it boil for maybe five or 10 minutes and then turn it off and let it s seep and just let the the dye come out and then I might go one more time a few hours later give it one more boil for a few minutes just to raise it up to boiling again and then let it cool down and then you pretty much have the dye extracted from the aloe vera into the water so this is the aloe vera water with some vinegar so there's about 
a half a cup of vinegar in here and the rest of it is water and so when I go to make it into a shampoo all I have to do is add a little bit of the Castile soap into the mixture um, probably a couple tablespoons for this gallon and then here is another one that I make with the pecan husks and if you're not familiar with pecan husks they grow on the pecan tree when they're growing the nuts um, inside these little fruits that are green hanging on the tree are the nuts and at the end of the year when the nut is ripe the little fruit on the outside turns dark brown and this is a very staining uh, product when I boil this with with the water it comes out really dark dark brown like you can't even see through it it's so dark and so I just do the same process I boil it I let it cool I boil it I let it cool and then in the case of this instead of aloe vera I'm using the pecan husks from the fruit from the pecan tree um, and then I have this nice dye that I this is the one I use on my super dark hair and it does a fine job and it keeps your hair nice and healthy of course it doesn't cost much and these bottles of Castile soap are like I think $17 at the store where I buy them but they last for so long so can I get my laundry detergent out of here and shampoos and hair colorings um, for a you know quite a lot of uses when you're considering you're only using a tablespoon or two at a time so it's actually a good deal and I can get about 20 bottles of shampoo out of one of these so that's quite a lot uh, of savings too so I'm not going out and buying hair coloring and bottles of shampoo plus it's it's helpful for Mother Earth so it's really fun and here's one that I just made out of beets this one is red so you could even do a red coloring which would be fun I don't know how this one is going to turn out but it's fun to experiment with different things in the garden you just have to boil them up and let and then use that water as part of your hair care so it's it's really fun it's really easy and it saves Mother Earth from getting all those unnatural compounds into the soil that the plants don't thrive on this helps the plants thrive better we're underneath a passion vine here we've got an oak tree over there and a lemon behind us so that the water goes out all around to all the plants in the area and hopefully it sinks down really deep and kind of have a slope going down this way so the water can just keep going down right onto onto the land by um, the force of gravity and lastly for laundry take a third cup of the Castile soap and two-thirds cup of the vinegar put that in the washing machine for a full load and you can let that water run out into the garden and it's very fine in the garden I've been using it and I found no problem at all with the plants receiving that water so that's another way that we conserve water here so I have fun doing all of this like I have fun making flower crowns and wearing them and have fun in the garden exploring different things you may be um, able to find other kinds of plant products in the garden in your garden in your area that are fun and that if you boil them they could create a colorant and adding vinegar is kind of a two-part bonus because the vinegar also helps the dye um, like stick they call it a mordant so it helps the dye really penetrate your hair so that's a really fun way to do hair coloring and to save mother earth because really when it comes down to it Saving our planet Earth is the most fun because it's such a beautiful planet and we all share it. And uh, I believe we can all live beautifully, abundantly,
and happily on our planet together with just a few new bright ideas and ways of thinking about things because nature is so abundant and we are so blessed so I'm sending you lots of love and aloha Mwah.